G'day! In today's video, I've got an Acer Nitro 5. This particular one has the model number AN515-55. And what I'm planning on doing this one is to replace or upgrade the NVMe drive with a Team Group MP33 512 gig model. Now there should be two NVMe slots in here and 2.5 inch drive. So what we need to do to begin with is take out all the Phillips head screws. So most of these screws, I believe, are pretty similar, but I will point out any differences along the way. One. Two. Three. Four. So, so far, we're looking to be the same along the front and the back, which is good. It's been a while since I've worked on one. I'm actually forgetting which way is the front and the back, but no, up here's the back. This shouldn't void your warranty doing this, but in some countries they may try to argue that it will. There we go. Got all those screws removed. With those screws removed, I want to use a thin plastic pry tool like this. Maybe I'll use a bank card. And I should be able to feed it into a gap along here. Or at least, I hope so. The reason why we're using plastic is so that plastic on plastic won't, or won't or should not leave a scratch. As I say that, it's trying to leave a mark. And if I get that in there, no. I'll switch to a metal one. Where are we? And I'll Mommy. shut up my phone. There we go. Grab a thin metal pry tool. So I'm going to just, just to start it. So if I go like this, into here. There we go. That should be enough to start it. To proceed. Aha. That may be some of my dramas. One screw remaining. It eluded me. Go and now we're lifting. Bingo. So from here, we're now in. And as we can see, we have one MVMe over here. We have two sticks of RAM here, battery, a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive here, but we're looking right here. Now I will disconnect the battery in the meantime. Um, tip, oh, usually I wouldn't bother, but for the sake of safety of your devices, I would recommend disconnecting your battery. So I'm going to lift up this bit of tab here, like so, and then I'm going to grab and pull towards me. So I've got my fingernails there, walk it forward, and that's now disconnected. Next up, undo this screw over here. There we go. And with that done, it should be right to get the NVMe drive out. Go. One drive. I can get that to leave. There we go. Slots in there like so. Pushed it in. I'm going to pull it down. Pull in, down. And from there, it should be right to screw that one. Yeah, funny enough, this cord here is in my way. So I'll move it out of my way. Or at least I'm trying. I need to cut that. Okay, now I can move it out of my way. It was just clipping on that. So I'm going to go in, down, the notch here matches up with the notch there. In, down, and then screw that into position. Next up, I would reconnect the battery, and then I should be able to format this in within Win uh, disk management in Windows. And then from there, that will be usable. 
do be careful here in reattaching it. If you don't have it perfectly lined up, you do risk bending a pin, as these ones are fairly fragile. Get my nail, go push. There we go. It's right up to the red line here. I am just going to give it a quick blowout with the air compressor while I've got it open. But that should be about all we need to do to get the NVMe installed in this Acer Nitro 5. And a fair bit of dust just came out of there. Next up is installing the back cover or the bottom cover. What we want to do is hook this section over the back and go down. So if I scoop this over the power connector down here and tilt it, feed it into the groove and then push down. There we go, should make popping sounds similar to that. So with the battery connected, the NVMe installed, we should be right to put those screws back in once that's all clicked in around. The screws themselves are of the same length, so you don't have to be concerned about where you got them from and where you put them back to. And then after that NVMe is installed, if it's put in as a secondary drive, you should be right to be able to format it in disk management. But if you have put that in as to replace the existing drive, you may have to reinstall Windows from there. Anyway, I hope that's helped you guys upgrade your Acer Nitro 5, the AN515-55 model, which is very similar to the, the Dash 54, and I believe the 53 and the 52. So I'm assuming the next year's model, which would also be the Dash 56, is probably identical as well. Anyway, that's a bit of a ramble for another day. I'm going to finish putting these screws back in, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.